Self-propelled anti-aircraft guns saw rapid development during World War II, especially after the outstanding performance of the German Stuka dive bombers in the early stages of the war, which prompted the Allies to strengthen their ground forces with more mobile anti-aircraft weapons. In the Battle of Dieppe in 1942, the Canadian military suffered significant losses from the German Air Force, further solidifying their determination to develop self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, resulting in the creation of the Dragon self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. The Dragon self-propelled anti-aircraft gun chassis utilized the Canadian-produced M4A1 Grizzly chassis, paired with a new four-gun turret. Originally armed with four 20mm Hispano Suiza cannons, the guns were standardized in 1944 to the Pearson 20mm anti aircraft gun, a simplified version of the 20mm Ehrlichon gun. The gun can fire the same ammunition used by the Ehrlichon gun, with excellent low altitude defense capabilities. The theoretical maximum firing rate of the four guns is 1,800 rounds per minute making it exceptionally capable in terms of ammunition delivery during World War II. The turret has four seats, with two for the crew commander, one for sitting inside the vehicle, and one for the gunner when operating outside. The gunner can fire from inside the turret or use the nine Malawian Quacha's reflector sight for aiming when firing from outside the turret. Flexibility is crucial for an anti-aircraft gun, and the Dragon self-propelled anti-aircraft gun turret can rotate at a speed of 60 degrees per second, allowing the gunner to quickly aim at targets, faster than the M4 medium tank. In 1943, the Dragon testing went smoothly, and Canada decided to mass-produce it and deploy it to the upcoming European front, providing mobile low-altitude firepower for battalion and regimental-level units. Looking at the development during World War II, the Dragon anti-aircraft weapon was in line with the trend of the times, as the German military also developed similar equipment and achieved good results. However, the favorable situation for the Allies in 1944 did not see the anticipated intense retaliations from the German Air Force. Instead, most of their remaining strength was directed towards countering the strategic bombing by the Allies, reducing the relative threat to ground forces. Around April 1944, Canada cancelled the Dragon project to focus on tank production. By then, only three complete vehicles and eight turrets had been produced, with one self-propelled anti-aircraft gun sent to the UK for further testing. It was this Dragon self-propelled anti-aircraft gun that landed in Antwerp in 1945, stepping onto the European continent and joining the Canadian 2nd Armoured Brigade to participate in the battles in the Rhine region. During its brief combat career, the Dragon had notable accomplishments. In one instance, a German sniper attempted to kill the vehicle commander, but the commander quickly turned the gun towards the suspected direction and fired, clearing the nearby cover and forcing the sniper to evade the gunfire. Post-war reflections from soldiers considered the Dragon to be a valuable asset in clearing obstacles, especially when dealing with enemies hiding in buildings, using its machine guns to deliver strong suppressive fire. The Canadian military's tactical summary highlighted the Dragon as the second armoured force, engaging enemy infantry while tanks took the lead in offensive operations. Originally designed for anti-aircraft defense, the Dragon self-propelled anti-aircraft gun unexpectedly became a reaper of infantry on the battlefield, showcasing new combat capabilities. Compared to self-propelled anti-aircraft guns from other countries at the time, most had open or semi-open fighting compartments, lacking the combined offensive and defensive capabilities of the Dragon. However, due to the smooth progress of the Allies, the Canadian military did not participate in major battles such as the assault on Berlin, rendering the Dragon self-propelled anti-aircraft gun obsolete after the surrender of the German military, without further development. <laughs>